Hey everybody, this is Michael Zybot Albear and welcome back to more Let's Play Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Last episode we did the front nine and we got a very good score of three under plus two excellent chip ins. So anyways, let's move on to the front nine, which starts off with hole number ten, par four. 407 yards. Now just to play this one safe. I would go power shot all the way over here. That is a perfect shot. Hopefully I'm not behind that. Um, nice shot to the green. And of course we're going to come up short just in case of a bounce. Um, yes. Victorious. Uh -huh. And I remember playing this um, golf game. Phew, just barely getting the birdie. Let's see that one more time. Just getting the roll. So yeah. And I remember playing a golf game on um the iPad and it was kind of weird because it does show you the percentages when you're in the in sand and grass, which is helpful, but the putting made no sense. As Waluigi double bogeyed, wow. Only one behind. Part four. Full eleven. Um so yeah, I just, it just didn't make that much sense with the putting. Because like, say if you're less than a yard short of the hole, it was a nightmare because he had, I, it's hard to explain, but it made no sense at all. Even if you're under a yard, you had to max out the power on this thing. Oh, that was a horrible shot. Actually, not bad. See if you can come up short as always. I don't know. Kohiro, victorious. No. And <laughs> Tanoka Capri Sun. Um let's see if we can go right there. That should make it, or maybe Yes, we get another bur par, sorry. <laughs> I was just gonna say birdie, but we got par. Um Yeah, the putting made no sense in the game. I mean everything else is fine. Except the wedges too. The wedges had made no sense at all. I mean, ugh. It's like Tiger Woods PGA Tour or whatever. I mean, ugh. Made no sense whatsoever, but whatever. Anyways, that was an excellent shot. Alright, a couple yards. And, um. I don't know. Can we squeeze by? Yes, we can. Let's purposely come up short. Will it take a fairly reasonable bounce? I think not. Oh, that's a green. Oh, I didn't notice that. It looks like we can go straight from right here. That should have enough power. Oh, come on, man. Should have had enough. Well, because we went up a little bit of a slope, so that's probably why. Um. Anyways. We are tied for the lead with Birdo. So yeah. Anyways, here's hole 13, par 3. Um, this isn't that bad of a hole. Uh, you'll certainly want to come up short on the shot, of course. Like that other hole that was a par 3. You'd want to come up short because you don't want to overhit it. And I'd say that was a nice on. We do have to respect the slope and... If we put a little bit more power into that, we would have made it. What am I saying that in the past? And we almost made that, it's just that we didn't curve it a little. We curved it a little too much, but whatever. Oh no, what was that? Oh man, no. My finger slipped on the uh, controller, no. Seriously. We could, we should have gotten par on that, it's just, oh. I'm just so greasy for some reason. I just, oh. And we fall one behind Birdo. Just wonderful. There's another massive par five. Probably the most massive par five in the game, almost. Maybe I'm not quite sure about that, but one, two, three. Yes, we can get Birdie on this hole. 
If this turns out to be good shots. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Um. Yes, we can make that. Oh, wonderful shot right there. If it slows down. Wonderful shot. We can reach the green from here. So yet again, let's purposely come up short. Um, not bad of an on. Could have been better with a little more power. Here's a putt. And that should be close. Yes, we get birdie. Let's see that one more time. Very nice birdie putt, and we tie for the lead, unless if Birdo got a bogey on this hole, which... I wouldn't be surprised if Birdo didn't get one. Let me, let's see. And I was right, double bogey, wow. Wow, Birdo, and Waluigi lost the lead dramatically. Let's see what the high score is. Plus 23, fail. <laughs> I just had to say that. Um, here's a massive... Not that massive, no. Average par 4. Um, let see the map here. We could actually reach the green on our second shot. We're gonna have power shots. Great. Oh, just wonderful. Um, let's see if we can land right there. If we can land there, then we can cut through that tiny opening. Maybe. Let's see if we got out far enough. Um. Great. One wood. Oh, it's not gonna make it. We're gonna have to put all our power into the shot. It's not even gonna be close to making it. Oh no. Please get on that fairway. Phew. All right, let's see if we can chip this. Ooh, so close, but we settle for par, but that was a pretty good chip. If I put a little bit more power into it, then we would have gotten birdie, but oh, I settle for par, and we are got a four-stroke lead that pretty much clinches the whole, the game, the, the tournament, unless we mess up. Par four, uh, I want to come up a little short. Just to play it safe. Oh, yeah, that was a very safe shot right there. Maybe a little more power, but... Oh, no. Can we make it to the green? Oh, man. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see what's... Let's see what happens here. If it takes a nice roll... Come on, roll, roll, roll. Do the barrel roll. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Let's try to chip this. Looks like a pretty good chip and a little too strong, but sets us up with a huge slope. Anyways, yes, we just barely get par on that. Let's see that again. Couldn't change the angle, okay, game? Don't don't change the angle on me, game. Just you just whatever. Yeah, we have a five-stroke lead. We won this, so we can get double bogeys on each hole. No, holes. Um, this hole can be kind of tricky if you want to come up short on it. Let's see if we can actually reach the green. Oh man, not too good at all. We're in the waste area. Pin shot. That pin shot saved me because that would have went in another waste area. Um, anyways, will I have enough power? Ah, uh, so close. But we settle for bogey. Anyways, if I think if we if we get um a par on this hole, I think it'd be the best score. I mean, yeah, we clinched this. So let's let's get a birdie on the final hole. Why not? You know, this is probably the hardest, one of the hardest 18 holes in the entire game. 
see it's, it's a par 5 18 so one two three since we have no power shots we have no choice but to go here Cojero for the win oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying no Capri song Cojero anyways that was a pretty good shot um, Let's see what we can do with that shot. Make it go to the left a little bit. Too much to the left. Uh. Oh no, we don't have a chance. We see a one wood. Let's use a three iron. Just to play it safe. It has a very safe shot if it slows down. Yeah, I guess we just have to settle for par here. 73 yards. Let's purposely come up short. Well, not that short. Oh, a monster putt. Oh, no. What a putt this is going to be. Oh. Let's see what we can do here. And... Oh, nice touch. Anyways, we sell for bogey. bogey. And that is not our best score for the tournament. I think that ties for our best score, probably. But we failed in this front nine. Whatever. We won the Sand Classic, and we unlocked our new course. Saving to the memory card. And there is the trophy. Which I don't know what it's supposed to be, but... Anyways, Luigi wins his third tournament. He's been getting paid enormous amounts of money, money, <laughs> coins, whatever. Anyways, next time on Let's Play Mar Luigi Golf Tour, Mario Golf Tour, whatever. We will go to... The blooper open, which will be a very calm course. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to come and subscribe. Peace out, Let's Players, and Let's Play all the way. Starface for the win!